identify where that stress is coming from because if you don't sit down and identify where the stress is coming from it's going to keep on affecting your bedroom matters and when bedroom matters are affected tension will rise for both partners and the one who wants to do the do might be tempted to go out hi everyone welcome back to my channel princess beyond passions my name is princess and you are welcome i started a series some time ago and i talked about a question that i was asked concerning the bedroom matters and i had given a foundational talk on that or introduction to that and i gave some points about four points to that so i am continuing <music> Then this is the next part or the follow-up to that particular video. If you missed that one, check the description below and you will find that, okay? So you can catch up and see where the discussion is coming from. Next thing I'm going to talk about is what do you have in common? What you have in common will help two of you bond when you get married. What you have in common, for example, if you like traveling, if you if one of your hobbies is traveling and your partner's hobby is traveling you see that two of you can travel sometimes you can you know book your holidays together and then two of you can plan together and take a trip if you love cooking two of you can cook together if you love football watch football together if you love gardening if you love children if you, you know different things whatever it is find out what your partner likes some people like taking pictures some people like making videos some people like different things so find out what it is that your partner likes to do and you also let your partner know what you like to do even while you are dating and while you are cutting these are the things that you should be talking about but you know sometimes couples just don't work that way and things work out in another form so i'm saying to you ensure that these things you already know about these things see when you know your partner's hobbies and interests both of you will find common grounds it will help you to bond sometimes love is not enough i mentioned this in my earlier videos sometimes love is not enough when you are in marriage sometimes challenges come and love you know waves up and down and all that there are other things that will help you to hold on to your marriage one of these things is friendship tight friends close friends be very real good friends with your partner when you are friends with your partner it will help you when love seems not to be helping you so when you are friends friends would like to do things in common friends if you have interests that you love together you 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 do it in common for example i had given some examples earlier on if you love traveling two of you can you know book for your holidays and two of you can travel during your holidays and while you're on holidays love can be rekindled your relationship will be refreshed and renewed and then you might from there you will come back together again and your relationship will take a new turn you know a new level and hey are you bonding again so the next point that i'm going to discuss is if your partner is always giving excuses if you are already married you know i was talking to my unmarried partners right my single partners who are going to get married now if you are already married and your partner is always complaining about headache or i'm tired uh, uh, most or most of the time or some of the time that you want to have your bedroom activities in the bedroom department sometimes a partner says no uh, but why can't you do this because i'm tired or because i have headache instead of you getting angry and trying to force the person into doing the do in the bedroom why don't you calm down and talk to the person Try convince your partner and not force your partner. Because you see, when you force your partner into doing the do when she does not want to do it, then it creates this mental picture that over time, every time your partner remembers it, it might totally and entirely turn off your partner. 
or piss that person off. So, it is better to sit down and talk about it. Oh, you say you have headache. Ah, you told me you had headache two days ago or yesterday and that's why we didn't do it. Today again you have headache. Or he or she told you yesterday um, I was tired. Or last week was tiredness. This week is headache. Sit down and talk about it. See, there's nothing that talk, dialogue cannot, you know, solve. Dialogue. If you are patient to dialogue with your partner about the bedroom department of your home, the matter will be like half solved. So sit down with your partner and talk about it. Find out why this person is always giving you excuses, if it is excuses. Find out why this person is always telling you, oh, I'm tired. Find out why this person is always saying, oh, today I have headache or tomorrow I am tired. No, I can't do. Uh, let's do now. No, I can't do. Because when the person keeps saying, I can't do, I can't do, I can't do, time will come. The other person is not firewood. The person has to find alternative to you who is always giving excuse that you cannot do. And that alternative is going to be detrimental to your relationship. It's going to be detrimental to your marriage. I am not in any way advocating infidelity, unfaithfulness, cheating, or um, adulterous life while you are married. So please get me right on that point. <laughs> so, but I would say, find out why your partner is always telling you that he or she is tired or he or she has headache. Why is it that this person does not want to do this thing with you? Is it that this person does not like bedroom activities with you? If the person does not like bedroom activities, did you not see from the beginning before you got married to this person that this person does not like bedroom activities as much as you like it? Or were you thinking that you would be able to change that person? Is why you married that person thinking, oh, if you don't like bedroom activities over time, you will like it because I love it. You know, people think that way. So refer to my last video on this matter. I said to you that before you get married, make sure that your partner's sexual energy matches yours. It's very, very important. Make sure that you have a good connection. Go and watch that video. You will see all the things that I have talked about in that place. Okay, so that I don't, I'm not repeating myself. So back to what I was telling you. Sit down, both of you, and talk it out. Find out why your partner is always tired or why is he or she is always um, having headache. Is it because of, is it due to work? Is it due to the children, if you're already having children? Or is it due to housework? Or is it due to stress? Or find out where that stress is coming from. Is the stress internal stress? Is it coming from your home? Is it the tension inside home? Is it financial stress? Is it issues coming from work? Identify, is it issues coming from family or where? Identify where that stress is coming from because if you don't sit down and identify where the stress is coming from, it's going to keep on affecting your bedroom matters. And when bedroom matters are affected, tension will rise for both partners. And the one who wants to do the do might be tempted to go out. Apart from your home becoming tensed, you there will be a temptation temptation of going out to have what you want because your partner is not giving it to you which is not supposed to be like that so find out both of you sit down and iron it out don't say oh um i'm not going to talk about this or i don't want to talk about this or don't shy away from that talk sit down and have that talk it is very important for both of you to sit down and have the talk after having the talk, the next point is, if you know that this talk that you have had and it's not solving the matter, both of you, I would advise both of you to seek professional help, like visit a therapist, both of you. Mr. Husband, 
please do not say oh i don't want to talk about it to anybody i don't want to expose my sexual matters to anybody you are going to talk to a professional who is discreet who it's a confidential thing a professional cannot expose you as i am talking to you about it i am not exposing you i am talking generally in order to help you i don't even know you <laughs> if you're having that problem or not do you understand so when you talk to a therapist the therapist will be able to help the both of you two of you see the therapist together and sort out this thing so that your relationship can be sweeter so that the both of you can enjoy your god-given gift in your bedroom department i'll talk more about this some other time if you like what i do please give this video a thumb up and if you're coming across my channel for the very first time you are warmly welcome please hit that subscribe button subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell to all for more uploads stay tuned for more Please be on the lookout for the next video. Share this video to the people that you think need to see the video. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.